This is number six in the series of Paint with Len short lessons. You can paint your picture in any colour you wish, but I've selected violet because it makes quite a pretty little picture when it's framed. We start by getting some violet on the brush so we know that that is the colour on the brush and load the brush with plenty of white and we'll start with our background. Plenty of white paint right in the middle of the picture. And this is a forest so we have no sky. We'll have a glow coming out of the middle. So let's paint a glow. Do make sure your brush has just a little bit of violet on it and no other colour. Use a crisscross brush stroke and add the violet to the outside but keep the middle pale, very pale, pure white even. Crisscross, crisscross and get darker as you work around the outside but still keep very pale and try and have this white glow in this area here. I'm painting on canvas with acrylic and I'm using a size 12 hog bristle brush. When the undercoat is done, clean your brush and then we'll pick up the two colours, dark on one side, light on the other. That's the two colours on the brush. When you unload your brush, be careful what side the white is on. This side or that side. You'll notice when I'm painting down here, the white is on the inside of the picture. Always try to keep the white on the inside of the picture. Very thin trees in the distance and bigger ones near you. You'll notice I turn the brush around to keep the white on the inside of the picture. Now you'll need to clean your brush before you pick up your darker colour and brush in some trees in the foreground. These are much darker. We can have a crisscross zigzag effect for the background coming towards us and continue to block in your dark but do clean your brush before you pick up the dark paint. And here we can crisscross the ground level with full colour and we paint in a few more trees over near the edge of the painting. Don't detail them too much. This big one sloping in and crisscross the ground again. It's always good to run a white line down the inside of the tree. We can do this by rolling it off the edge of our big brush and fill in the corners. You make your painting up as you go along. Make sure you keep it dark, especially in the bottom corners and pale in the distance. Put your trees in where you wish, but make sure your trees lean into the picture. With our little soft hair brush, we're going to load it with two colours. Light on one side, dark on the other. Make sure there's plenty of paint on the brush. Then we can twiddle in our branches. Twiddle the brush in your fingers, hold it with two fingers, and put the light and dark branches. A little bit of bark hanging down here and there. You can have a few dark branches in the background but not many. I think that branch is a bit dark. We'll lighten that in a moment. Sometimes a prominent branch coming across right across the picture like that helps too. Gives it a bit of character. Brush them in and if you make a mistake leave it. We'll fix it later. Don't go back and touch up your branches. When we put foliage on later, we can always put the foliage over the branches that don't look so good and then we won't even see them. Clean your brush down the bottom and that gives us a few bits and pieces laying on the ground. Now with a fan brush, we'll dab, dab, dab some little foliage on the ground. Keep this sloping into the picture also. The fan brush has been double loaded with dark on one side and light on the other and we keep the light on the top of the brush to give the sunlight on the top of the foliage. We can also use it to give us foliage on the trees. Here's where you can fix your mistakes and keep the eye coming into the picture by having everything facing into the picture. Keep your bright spot in the middle and you have your dark along the top and around the edges of the picture so the eye will travel into the picture. You can practice this brush stroke on a practice board. It's good to practice all your brush strokes. There's only five or six of them. Yeah, my picture finishes about there. I'll dull that branch down with a little bit of white. That's better. Here you can finish your detail by putting in the branches between your foliage. Just a little bit here and there. 
and a white line up the edge of the tree. Oh, that's a little bit prominent, that one. It attracts your eye too much. We'll knock that back a little bit, blend it in just a little bit. Well, that's our violet forest. I rather like that. You can practice that over and over. You can practice in many colours. It's a simple little painting.